Hey guys, in this tutorial I'll be covering simple point and click movement. I'm going to be creating more tutorials, but I'm going to be working in a different project. We're going to be creating a Dota style, a tower defense RTS style game. So I'll be able to create some tutorials on stuff that I wouldn't want to create for my other game. Just because of the basis of the other game that I was working on, it has nothing to do with uh, a lot of the scripts that I want to show off so it'd be better off to just create a brand new project and show you guys some other scripts it's not really gonna affect anything since it's one script at a time but yep yeah. so first thing you want to do is create a camera and I rotated mine downwards towards my player and for your player you can just create a uh, 5 by 10 by 5 uh, <coughs> cube and toss a character controller on there and I also toss click to move controller on there so pretty much our click to move script pretty much just keeps track of the location that you're clicking on the ground and it creates a vector 3 which will rotate and move your character towards that position so if you decide to quickly change it'll start the character will move or rotate and start moving towards the next location. So, yeah, in here it just calls the raycast, um, checks the position at which the raycast hit, and then it starts moving the player towards there through delta time and such. And yeah, so if we just click our left mouse uh, button, it will do that. So yeah, once you have all that set up, and then you probably want to create a plane too, just for collision. But yeah, that's pretty much all you need. You don't need to mess with any of this stuff or any of that. We can just go in here real quick. If you see, wherever you click, the cube rotates and starts moving towards that location. Now there's a simple thing wrong with this script, is if you click like far away, it goes really fast and if you go close it goes really slow I'm gonna be working on updating the script so in future tutorials I'll have the code for the fixed version if I can figure it out I asked around a little bit so um, hopefully that'll get fixed but yeah if you just want a basic movement and stuff for click to move uh, that's the script you can use